Coming up, marijuana is toxic to pets. What pet owners should know about keeping their furry friends safe and what to do if the animals get into pot. And the legalization of recreational marijuana has raised all kinds of questions and concerns. One issue that needs to be addressed is how it affects our pets if they accidentally ingest it. So here to help us understand this is Dr. David Gonski with West Loop Veterinary Clinic. Thanks so much for coming in. Pleasure. Yeah, Thanks. so you know, it's interesting because I was looking and um, I saw a, a hotline for pets saying that, that the number of phone calls they've gotten of concerns of illnesses with pets is almost 500% more over the last six years since it started becoming legalized so it's an right. issue for you guys do you get these calls too yes we get the calls and, and we get the cases okay so what happens when a pet ingests marijuana when a pet ingests marijuana um, in about 30 minutes it starts to affect them um, and so when they come in usually we'll see them have drooling dribbling urine mm -hmm. they'll be very sleepy but they'll be easily startled Sometimes they walk very wobbly. Mm -hmm. They may throw up, and um, sometimes they have trouble regulating their uh, temperature. So, how toxic so, is to this? Is this to them in, even internally, or can it lead in a fatality? So, fortunately, most cases of marijuana ingestion will not die, but they can, and there are fatalities. Mm -hmm. So, what you want to do is get in touch with your veterinarian or the emergency clinic right away, mm -hmm. and then you want to tell them how much has been ingested, what is the quantity, and how much does your dog or cat weigh. Okay, because that, that will make the biggest difference. And I thought Correct. it was interesting, too, that they can also get sick from secondhand smoke from marijuana. Tell yes. me about that. The, the smoke can affect mm -hmm. them. It's just like they're, um, they'll inhale it, it goes to the system through the bloodstream. More concerning than the secondhand smoke, which is a problem, mm -hmm. is actually the edibles. Um, now that we're seeing a lot more legalization and we're seeing the edibles, mm -hmm. you've, got, um, you've got something that smells good, tastes good to the dogs and cats, and they're eating it. And it can be wrapped in chocolate or have raisins or xylitol, which oh. are other toxicities. Mm -hmm. So you really want to keep those things away from your pet. Okay, so we're talking about edibles that are supposed to be consumed by humans because one thing I've noticed when I go to the pet stores, I have seen so many products now with CBD in them, right? Mm -hmm. Which is um, a derivative and it's not the same thing that gives you that THC high, right? Correct. But how, how much do we know about CBD? And is that safe to be feeding our pets as we're finding it in pet food products? Okay, I think that's an awesome question. So CBD is derived from hemp. It does not contain the THC, the mm -hmm. psychoactive drug. Um, it is everywhere. I can get a smoothie yes. with CBD in it. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing on CBD is, well, there's two pieces. One is probably over time, we're going to find through actual scientific study that there are some benefits. But right now, when you look at any product for human or pet or a website, it will always say does not treat, diagnose, prevent, or cure any disease. Mm -hmm. So it's really buyer beware mm -hmm. at this time. The study, the vet universities and the human universities mm -hmm. are starting to do research, but there is no scientific data yet. Okay, so your advice then is to stay away from it? <sighs> that is a loaded question. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's really a consultation with your veterinarian. Okay. And we can talk about CBD, mm -hmm. we really cannot talk about marijuana. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of uh, what you should do if you think your pet has in fact ingested uh, marijuana. Is there something to do immediately or is your best bet just to call the vet? Your best bet is call the vet okay. or the veterinary emergency clinic right away. Okay. Again, give their, the weight of the, of the drug and the weight of the pet and do not try to treat it at home. Don't induce vomiting, at least until you're told to do so. Yeah. Okay, so where can people go to learn more about West Loop and get some more advice? WestLoopVet.com. Okay, thank you. Really important subject. Thanks for coming and sharing with Thanks, us. Thanks, Olivia.